Relaxed but focused, Florent Ibengue is getting ready for Saturday's big game and he'll be under even more pressure as the only African coach in these quarterfinals. For him, that's no cause for pride but the sign of a long-standing problem in African football. There's just not much trust in local coaches, it's that simple. Let's be honest, even if we have the same diplomas when it comes to getting a job, we don't get a chance. The so-called white witch doctors have an easier time than the black ones. On the pitch, Ibenge's coaching skills have already paid off. In 2014, the 53-year-old reached the final of the African Champions League with Kinshasa's AS Vita club. His current players are happy to have one of their own as a coach and admit it does make a difference. We're very proud to have a Congolese coach. Our old coach, Claude Leroy, was a foreigner. It does make a difference when it comes to communication and also the African mentality. In the quarterfinals, the Leopards will not only be facing their neighbors Congo, but also their former coach, Claude Leroy. The Frenchman, known as the White Witch Doctor, is coaching a record eighth Africa Cup of Nations. We had Claude Leroy, but when he left, we thought, now's the time to choose our brother. Leroy was our friend, but Ibenge is our brother. The friend and the brother will be coming face to face on Saturday here at Estadio de Bata for the Congo Derby of these quarterfinals. Though Leroy can count on his long running experience in the competition, statistics will be in favor of Ibenge because African coaches have won six of the past 10 editions of the Africa Cup of Nations.